Yo, New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? In just a minute, prayers are being sent to the island of Puerto Rico. So, our boy Ken Rosenthal just dropped another bomb. He has tweeted out and he has posted an article on The Athletic stating... Major League Baseball sign stealing controversy broadens. Sources say the Red Sox used video replay room illegally in 2018. So we knew this was coming for the simple fact that Alex Cora was the bench coach of the Houston Astros. And like everybody knows by now, in 2017, the Astros, it came out that they were illegally stealing signs via a camera in center field. And they had a little mechanism where they banged on a trash can when, let's say, an off-speed pitch was coming. So let's say Oscar the Grouch or that Sesame Street character wasn't too happy with the Astros banging on his trash can. Now, I covered the Red Sox versus the Yankees profusely on this channel in 2018. I had a whole bunch of Red Sox fans commenting left and right. Me making videos saying that the Red Sox were stealing signs, it was quite obvious. I even made videos about the Astros stealing signs. I mean, it's quite obvious. If you play the game of baseball, have a high baseball IQ, you would come up with the same conclusion that these teams were cheating to win. I mean, there was a whole bunch of instances where these Red Sox hitters knew every ball that was coming to them. So basically, what the Red Sox were doing, they were using a replay room designed to challenge the umpire's calls. Let's say, you know, the replays, if they were really out or safe, if they should challenge a play. So the Red Sox, as for every Major League Baseball team, they know that these rooms are filled with goodies. So the Red Sox, knowing that this franchise and city is absolutely infatuated with beating New York or being better than New York, I don't know how that's possible. They came up with a plan to use that replay room and steal the sign sequences of the pitchers and catchers. And I'm not talking about they only did that against the Yankees. They did it to every team that literally played over there at Fenway. But in my opinion, this is not the only tool the Red Sox used to cheat. I, for one, believe that the Red Sox used as sophisticated technology as the Astros did in supposedly 2017 and beyond. I think the Red Sox are right there with the Houston Astros when it comes to cheating. And could you blame the Red Sox for cheating? If you ask me, they had a whole bunch of players on PDs, specifically on those championship clubs in the early or mid-2000s. And they never got in trouble for cheating. So, could you blame them? MLB has never slapped them on the wrist, maybe a little bit, when supposedly the Yankees and the Red Sox got caught in some sort of cheating scandal in 2017 or something like that. So if you cheat once, why not cheat over and over again? Why does it take articles from The Athletic to bring this to light? I mean, it's obvious that it's going on. So Yankee fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you believe the Red Sox 2018 World Championship should be vacated? I, for one, think this is the uh, tip of the iceberg. I think there's more allegations to come out concerning the Red Sox. So leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page.